most wound worthy closets are all over Instagram, but there is a method to combining function with aesthetic. So I made a trip to learn how. Do you have this closet problem where every time you go in to get dressed, you're looking at things, you're not sure what to wear, you're not sure where anything is? Well, we found a solution and we are getting you organized once and for all. Okay, listen, we are in the closet of one very famous Dallasite. Whose closet are we in and what yes, you do for her? We are in the closet of influencer Courtney Kerr, who is one of our fabulous clients. We've been working with her for a long time and her closet is amazing, so we <laughs> love it. really spectacular. And you were saying, what you're gonna share with us today, there, this is obviously you know an over the top gorgeous closet, but these tips can really work for any closet of any size. They really can. I mean, this one is huge and beautiful and lots of fancy things, but the tips I'm gonna give you today can really go for any closet, any size, any shape, so. Okay, where do we start? Where, where should somebody start when they're wanting okay, to organize Okay, so closet? when you're organizing your closet, the very first thing that a lot of people try to skip is you have to purge and edit your closet. Okay. So people don't like that tip, but really you want everything in your closet to feel like it's like it's a friend when you're walking into a party. You wanna love everything that you see. This is the $10 organizer secret. It's called a folding board. You can get it on Amazon. And this is what's gonna create those neat and tidy stacks of clothes, both in your drawers and on your shelves. I wondered how people got those. Yes. I'm wondering how they do that. Okay, so show me how this works. Okay, they're so easy. So okay. all you do is lay your sweater or t-shirt or whatever you wanna fold face down. So you want the front of it to be on the bottom, okay? okay? And then you have each side, it's so easy. You just hold the sleeve and flip it in. Hold the sleeve, flip it in. Okay, and then I kind of fold the sleeve down like this. Got it. Amazing. Okay, do the other side. And then put it down. There you go. Okay, yours is better and than mine. And then but I we'll we'll get there. Don't okay. worry. And then you're just gonna take this little piece on the bottom, Got it. flip it up. And then look at these beautiful sweater stacks we can create. This looks so much better. Yes, we love it. Okay, so then you can put it into a nice tidy stack. You see that it's the same on the sides. You can put it on a shelf like this or you can put it in a drawer. Okay. It is just so much more convenient to be able to see everything you have in the drawer. Things don't get stacked and piled on each other. So it's so much easier to get dressed. Now that we have folded, you really talk about the idea of merchandising within your own space. Talk about that, what does that mean? Yeah, so we wanna make sure that we merchandise a closet to lay it out to make sure that it's functional for you. You wanna be able to get dressed easily in the morning. You wanna love everything that you see. You wanna be able to pack easy and create outfits. So all of that is the merchandising and the layout of the closet that we specialize in. So there, there, it seems like there's kind of some investment maybe when you're going to do this. You might, what are some of the things that somebody might be buying? Because like I'm seeing the labels, for example, that I'm loving. Yes, we love to bring in baskets, drawer dividers, drawer organizers. Labeling is a huge key. That's what's gonna maintain the system. So we love to use baskets for things like swim and off season, like winter hats, baseball hats, things that maybe aren't as pretty on the shelves that look better contained that you might not be using every day. Of course, add a label to everything because that is how it's gonna be maintainable. Well, and it's interesting because I was thinking, why do you have to have a label? Because it's your own closet, but it reminds you where to put everything. The other thing that I noticed that you, you did here with Courtney's closet, which is, you know, you put in like some areas to store her jewelry, her glasses, things like that. Talk about where to start with that. Yeah, so when you have your jewelry and your sunglasses and things out displayed like this in a boutique way, it just allows you to remember what you have. So when you're getting dressed and you're creating an outfit, you can easily reach for that necklace. You can easily see that belt once it's all displayed in a beautiful way. And Annie taught me one more tip that I wanted to share, which is to remember that it's likely that your shelves are adjustable so you can make them smaller to maximize your space for flats or larger for things like boots. This is really generous. She's actually offering 10% off for our viewers. Just mentioned Inside DFW for 10% off labor costs on your next project with SOS. We will link them on our website cw33.com and a big shout out to courtney kerr for letting us kind of invade her space there and see her spectacular closet well